All right, so we got our wide band today. We ordered this and um, comes with the instruction manual here. It comes with a different plate. So it's a 52 millimeter um, gauge right here. Comes with a 52 millimeter uh, gauge right here. So this is gonna go on our gauge pod right here. And then you got the connectors right here and these connectors right here. And then you got this connector, which plugs into this connector here and this runs inside the car and it runs to the afr gauge right here the afr ratio gauge right there so we're going to be installing this today it comes with the o2 sensor so the one we have on there right now won't work so Corey's going to be uh cory's going to be jacking that up and then i've got to disconnect it right back here because i got it connected right up here so i gotta disconnect it pull the wire through and we got to rewire this because that yellow wire off of here goes to the analog right there the white wire the analog right there so we're gonna have to be doing it to the honda Atta. so we got the honda Atta plugged in so we're gonna be doing this so we're gonna figure out where we're gonna run this cable right here to the o2 sensor and then once we get this hooked up we'll be able to see what our gauge is so we can start tuning it so it'll tell us our uh our air fuel ratio whether it's lean or rich and what it's at at idle and all kinds of stuff so we'd be able to do all that so in here it shows um in the instruction manual it's got the wiring it's got all this stuff so you can and then it's got all the parameters so you can hook it up so right here you got your needle bar the status light the display you got your connector right here so you got your red black yellow and white so Black wire is ground, white wire goes to the headlight, so it's a dimmer. Your yellow wire goes to your analog output to your ECU, your Honda, and then it tells you right here, zero volts is at 7.35 AFR, and then five volts is at 22.39 AFR, okay? So that's, what your, that's your wires. And then you got your red wire, which is your switched wire, and then you have your black wire, white wire, and your yellow wire. So we're probably not gonna use the white wire because we don't have any of the other ones hooked up but that's our gauge pod right there you can see so the top one is our oil um is our coolant temp second one is our oil pressure and then the third one will be our afr gauge so that'll look really nice to get the other third gauge in there because we were going to do we were going to do the oil temp and do all that but we decided not to do the oil cooler right now since it is you know 50 degrees outside so we're going to do that in the spring. Um, I've been trying to work on the throttle position sensor right there. The minimum reading I'm getting is like 0 0.06 and should be 0 0.045 or 0 0.50. So I need to figure out that issue, why I'm not getting a good reading for this. But one person said online, because this is from O'Reilly's, some person said on the reviews that they had to actually make the holes just a little bit bigger so they can actually turn it because this is right here this is maxed out and that's the breeding that i'm getting so i'm gonna have to make the hole just a little bit bigger because you can see on some of the aftermarket ones they're different and the holes are actually oval not round so well it's not round but you know what i'm talking about so um we got the skunk two uh, uh coilovers and the uh, and the upper control arms and that so i just put out that video today so if you want to check out that video and the next video to go out is uh after that would be the rest of the acl uh high performance oil pump and the blue racing gates belt we put that on there we got it running good it ran good the other day so now we just have to uh hook up the wideband gauge figure out where we're going to run it to so corey has got the socket i'm going to cut all the wires and then uh, when we go to wire it up, we'll wire it up and I'll show you where we run it to. So, you ready to do it? Yeah. All right, well, let's get it installed. All right, so we've been working on the wideband right there, the Innovate uh, wideband component right there. So we got the, we got everything hooked up right here. So we got the wideband hooked up. I'm having a little bit of problem trying to get this fit right. As if you can see, right inside there that big wire right there it's not wanting to fit right and it's actually pushing the gauge out you can see right there so i got to work on that trying to get that right um it was working last night we were at 22 point something at idle so that's really lean um let me get the get the hood open here 
So we got the, so I took out the um, upstream O2 sensor, the Bosch one that we bought. So we're gonna keep that one just so we could have it. And then I hooked up that one. Um, I wired it through right here. Let me put this hood up real quick and then I can, uh, can show you what we did here. Okay, so there we go. So this is the, the one that connects to the wide band right here. You can see it's connected right here. So I just got it laying down there for now, but I'm gonna have to curl this up or put it somewhere because I don't want this all this slack to be inside the car. Well, we might do it that way and then I might pull it down and then just put it underneath the car. I think they'll do it that way. Okay, so this right here, I just have it hooked to ground right now. So I'm gonna hook it inside the car and hook it up to the ground. I'm actually gonna hook it up to the same ground the ECU is grounded to, which is which is right there on the coolant neck. You can see that there's wires coming off right there. That's the ground for the ECU. So if you have an output for your wideband, you need to have it grounded for your ECU because you're gonna grow into there and you want a good reading on your Honda and on your computer. So it's got an output. So the yellow wire came out and then we ran it to the Honda, but I think I'm gonna hook it to the D14 um, wire on the ECU. I think that's gonna give us a better reading instead of going through the Honda and then going through there. I think we're gonna get a better reading going through that. Um, this is the front bumper that me and Corey have been working on. Um, it's, it cracked right there. So where we were doing it, and this is all like this. So I went and picked up a black bumper for the back. So here is the, that's the black bumper for the back. So it won't be silver no more. We were gonna prime that one, but I think this one looks good. Um, probably just gonna have to fix this right here. So I probably just put a washer or something on here. We're just gonna have to fix that, but at least it'll be black. The front bumper, we just need to paint the top here before we put it on so i'm going to be doing that it'll look a lot better than that it's got one spot on the bottom so i don't know if i'm gonna take the bottom off of this one and then switch it for our other one because our other one's good our other one's good to go because we've already fixed it and everything like that so we're gonna be getting that installed on the car so yep look at that and then we got the back primed a little bit it needs to be filled in a little bit but we got that done the back here we got the hatch aligned so the hatch is aligned here. It needs to be aligned just a little bit in that corner, but we redid the seals all in here with the seam sealer all through here and here and then down here and then right there. So we did all that. We did it with the gray seam sealer and we painted it black. So, and it looks really good. I like it. Um, this part right here, we're gonna have to uh, clean this up right here try to clean some of this uh, stuff off of here. We'll probably take some uh, goo gone or something like that and try to get this stuff off of here and try to make this look a little bit better. But this will be black. It needs adjusted a little bit because it's not fitting. Um, we got a new uh, glove box right here. So we're gonna be putting the new glove box on and the new piece that came out of it right here is gonna go in the other one because that one's black. And the other one is blue on the car. Since we've been watching the videos, it's blue. Okay, we got the strut bar right there. So that we're going to be painting that. This is the piece for the back bumper right here. So we already have this piece. So we're going to have to get some uh, some nuts for these to actually hold the bumper in place. So that'll be good. And we got to clean up the, the tail lights there. There's one there. And there's one here. We got to clean up the tail lights and then put the new gaskets on right here so we're going to be putting the new uh we're going to be putting the new gaskets on the tail lights so those will go in put some rtv around here and we'll stick these on here so those will look good and then we still have to do the camber kit for the back so those are the skunk two camber kit for the back so let's look at you can see right now there's bailey you can see right there you can see that the tires cambered out a little bit kind of goes in and then out on the bottom right there that one and this one's not as bad but you can tell it is this one's the worst one right there but we put the skunk two uh ones in the back or in the front already so we already did those so those actually look a lot better could be adjusted a little bit more 
They could be adjusted a little bit more, but we'll do it after we get the alignment done. So that's a little bit about uh, what's coming up with the Integra. So I'm going to be working on this right now, trying to get this into place. And once I get this, this into place and figure out um, how I'm going to get this in here and get this all bolted up. And then I got to drill a hole right here on this side and put that little piece. As you can see, you can listen to it. It's not actually going all the way up. The bottom's good, but this this top piece right here, you can see the little, uh, you can see the little gap right there. All right, so you can see that I got it all the way in there. It needs to be pulled in just a little bit more, but I'll have Corey pull down on that, and then we'll be able to pull that into place, but it's almost there. I got a little gap, but it's good for now, So and it works, so I'll have Corey help me with that. Um, I got that done, so that's good. I need, still need to hook up the ground there. Um, I'm going to put on the, the strut bar right here, so we got new... Uh, we got new bolts for them because the other ones were uh the other ones were crappy all right so i got the one side right here so i got that strut bar right there eventually we're going to paint it red the same color as the valve cover so i got the two new bolts on that side and then i'm going to put the two new bolts on this side and then i'm going to tighten it all down and it will look nice this is the original one that came off the car so i'll be able to do this i think those are I think they're a 14 millimeter. I think they're a 14 millimeter, but we'll see what they are. And then uh, we got a new uh, positive cable for this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna eliminate the ABS right now. So you got your ABS cable running through right here and then it runs up to here. So we're gonna be taking this off, cutting all those off of there. We got a new one that'll cut this and it'll actually go into an accessory wire so this will be fused right here right there that's for our uh that's for our fan there and then uh we'll be able to hook that up and then we'll have a new ground and new positive i don't know why Corey got a red one for this side but i mean oh well it works so we'll be able to do that maybe i'll just put some black electrical tape on it but that's looking good we're gonna get to get a new uh like i said we're gonna get a new fuel rail right here so this is going to be a new fuel rail and then i'm going to hook the injectors up so what i'm going to do is um i'm just going to cut right here cut those injectors off this uh injector uh the harness right here for the injectors and then i'm going to splice those wires in right there so i'll probably splice them in up here somewhere so these black things will be there so i'll just pull the black things up and then you won't even be able to see where i spliced in right there and then i put some heat shrink on it i'll solder them put some heat shrink on them and we'll be good to go so then we're gonna put the 410 injectors on here in, in. So right now we got the 239 injectors right there. So we're gonna be doing the 410 injectors, the RDX injectors, and uh, we'll be doing the fuel line right here. So we're gonna take this fuel line off of here so you won't see all this, it won't be rubber. It'll actually be that, uh, the line, and it will be a good fitting here, and then a good fitting to there. And then we'll have oil, we'll have a um, pressure gauge too, a new, uh, We'll have a new um, fuel pressure regulator, so that'll be uh, that'll be black. So this will come off here. This is the original one, and then we'll have a fuel pressure uh, fuel pressure gauge too. So that will look nice on there too. Um, I found the black piece for this, so I have to take off this electrical tape. We just put it on there so we could start it last night and pull it out of the driveway. So it's looking good. I like it. So pretty soon, that bumper and my Jeep's gonna go on here. And then we'll switch it out with the one that we have hanging up. And then the back bumper, how it was silver. So that one, so the black one's going to go on the back. And then we're going to finish putting everything together in the back. And then uh, finish this, finish this body work. This is a big old huge dent right here. Um, we're going to take off this cowl right here. We already got new clips, new the pieces here and new pieces here. So we're going to be getting that done also. And then that will... Uh, That'll look good too. And then we'll spray paint these black. And then pretty pretty much the car uh, will look nice and then get ready to get uh, get ready to get painted. We've been working on the Integra. So we got a new bumper for the front, new bumper for the back. We got the wide band hooked up. We got the glow shift uh, um, gauges hooked up. So those are in there. 
So next video, we'll be getting the front bumper, back bumper on. We'll be finishing up the interior, putting the pieces on, cutting that piece for the back so we can actually have something heavy so we can put tools and stuff like that. So if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JC Motor Garage. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us to 1,000 subscribers. And if you like the content and you like the Integra and want to see what it looks like day by day and video by video, just hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and we'll see you next time on. JC Motor Garage.